I'm Deb Zittler from Iowa City and I do fiber arts and exhibit at the Iowa State Fair. And this is ply split braiding, which is a technique using cords of fiber, which you split with this modified knitting needle and pull other cords through in a pattern that makes a design and makes some kind of an article which could be three-dimensional, could be a necklace, could be a strap or a belt or a keychain or whatever you want to make out of it. You said this was something that had been what reintroduced to the United well, States. What what what's why? It, it, it was developed in northern India, and there they use it to make um, like um, camel straps and other uh, decorative articles to put on animals, mostly camels. And a guy from England who's a famous weaver brought it to Great Britain and the United States. And so now a lot of uh, fiber artists are starting to do it. Okay. So how long does it take to make something like what you're holding there? What I'm holding has probably taken me about 20 hours or so, so far. It's kind of tedious and slow. And what is that? This is a basket and when I'm finished with it, it'll narrow up to a narrow opening and not have all these cords. They'll disappear. But it, it'll be like sort of like a little vase, except it's a decorative item, not a, not necessarily a functional item. Okay. And what's it like to do this in uh, you know 90 plus degree heat? Well, everything is more difficult in 90 plus heat. Um, and it actually does affect the cords in that they're a little more pliable and flexible, which is not necessarily good actually. Um, so the cotton fiber does get the humidity and change its quality changes a little bit. But then if you put it in air conditioning, it comes back to its normal um, density and it's fine again. All right, thanks. You're welcome. <laughs>